if I remember correctly, he's also open for Zimbabwe on occasions as a pinch hitter. He's got some aggression in him as a little man at the international cricket level. That'll do. Safest place to hit it at this stage of an innings or almost any stage. the boundary he's got a bit of a hand on it he's got to get a dive in now no four more stay there mate four more oh, Marilia has got the third man area absolutely taped two more in the wagon wheel Blair's got one to come. There's four more. Takes his strike rate to about 250. How about that for a bit of improvisation? He's walked across the stumps. This is what he did with Glenn McGrath. He walked across the stumps, and this time he's trying to just paddle it around fine on the leg side, because the fine leg is up. It was a no ball. Irritating bloke to bowl at, let me tell you. And I tell you what, this is the first time I've seen a sweep played on the offside. The ball ends up on the offside. That's quite amazing. It's very much a shovel more than anything else. Can't call it a paddle sweep as well. It's really picked up. But look where it lands on the offside. And again, the third man area. Oh, he's hit that high and handsome for six. Game really on. He's got to keep going. He's done it. Over fine leg. Who's up for the one and runs away for four. Marilia has suddenly taken this game by the scruff of the neck. He's ruined Zahir Khan's figures. Absolutely obliterated them. Four, six, eight, 14. 18 off the over with a ball to go. And fortunate that it isn't two balls to go. This is an amazing game of cricket. A guy who's picked up four wickets looked devastating with his medium pace. But this is a good change. Except that Douglas Marilia has smashed the daylight out of that one. Being cute there. Third man's in place, which is critical. Oh, and he's gone over the keeper's head. Why not? Brilliant. Found the slot. And a no ball. Two more balls of this over still to be bowled. The game's still alive. Goes to 42. And I want to see that wagon wheel again. Robin, this one is straight down the pitch, only reverse. Straight back. He's hit it straight as a dart, but only at the other end. This is tremendous cricket. All one can say, he's got great ball sense. He's got tremendous ball sense. These are not easy shots to play. And again, done it again. Look out. India, look out. This game is not over. Well, Zahir Khan just trying to get his point across to the captain. He needs a fielder there. Very fine. And I think what the bowler can do is perhaps cut down on the pace. That is the only thing he can look to do against Douglas Marilla because he's using the pace superbly. A four or a one? Yeah. I think a one is as valuable as a four. Oh, man. Here we go. He's hit that over extra cover, and it's going to go for four. What a great start. That's exactly what India didn't need. Precisely what Zimbabwe right, needed. 51 to Douglas Marillia in 21 deliveries. Strangely enough, equals exactly what Agaka has done. His fastest 50 was in 21 balls. This is almost unbelievable. And what a shot that was. Lofted extra cover drive. Well I wonder whether that was wise. There's the scoreboard. That's incorrect. That's one run too many. No, no ball. Four. Game over. 
Zimbabwe have won the most amazing game of cricket that I've had the privilege to watch. What an incredible victory for the visitors. We had them dead and buried. I make no bones about it. I said it. We all said it. And yet, once again, this amazing game proves us all wrong. And Douglas Marillia has performed a minor miracle. Well, just to remind you, no ball bowled and four runs picked up. So that makes it five runs of that last ball. And Zimbabwe win by one wicket with two balls to spare.